Hello, it is 10 a.m. on Tuesday, March 8th, 2016, and I'm a little bit low energy because I'm still a little sick. That's why I didn't record anything yesterday. I was under the weather. I stayed home from work and like slept all day and watched X-Files. I'm on season three now. Yay, season three. <laughs> That's the most productive thing I did yesterday was um, sleep and watch X-Files and towards the end of the day when my son came home from school I ordered him a pizza. Pro mothering skills there to be like I am a sick child I will order you pizza and he was like yay! <laughs> I went to sleep. Um, my weekend was pretty awesome. On Saturday I did a farmers market and brunch with my family and it was just a really awesome wonderful experience. I love spending time with my family. So, um, and the place we went for brunch was amazing. Just absolutely delicious. And in the afternoon, I went up for my favorite party. I uh, carpooled up with my no longer local gentleman. And uh, we laughed and had a fine time. <laughs> I was like, I sent my Irish gentleman. I like him so much more now that I'm not trying to force date him. Like, now that I'm not trying to make that happen. Like, I like him so much more, I can enjoy him so much more as a person because I don't have to be like attempting to fill things for him other than, you know, uh, amusement and affection and like humor. He makes me laugh a lot. I really enjoy how much he makes me laugh. He also drives me insane. There, are, um, He knows what makes me crazy. So <laughs> he kept doing it and I was like, I'm going to pinch your ear. <laughs> Like you yank your little head over. <laughs> that was fun. We went um to dinner with his new partner, and she was really awesome. I like her a lot, and um, I'm actually going to be staying in a hotel with her for a convention at the end of May. Uh, we decided yesterday. <laughs> she sent me a bunch of messages about it, and I was like, sure, that sounds cool. Let's do it. I'm down. So um, I will be... <laughs> roomies, con roomies with um, my no longer local gentleman's current partner <laughs> in May. Um, and she was really awesome. She took us to this, uh, this like sushi shop that doesn't cut the sushi and then calls it a sushi burrito. And I'm like, it's just you rolled it and didn't cut it. That's like, okay, <laughs> you can pass it off as a sushi burrito. It was really nice. It was really fun. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoy her company. I had a really fun time. I got to see MG and give her the present I got for her and we hung out and had a nice little chat and I saw Shelly and I saw Nicole and I saw a bunch of other people and there's this... Okay, so I've been on this weight loss journey um, for the last three years, but I've been making significant progress in the last year with like the most notable noticeable progress coming the last maybe six months or so whereas I was slowly losing weight and then I got to the point where instead of losing weight I'm like losing inches and like sculpting and firming and it's getting much more noticeable whereas previously it was like okay it's also a little late weight but it's not that it didn't look wasn't that dramatic of a difference but I got my first like slap in the face that I have indeed been losing a lot of weight because I haven't been to this party since January and it's March and I went to say hi to a gentleman who I have known for two years so we've been going to this party for two years and he's been there so we've seen each other like repeatedly for the last two years it's like a monthly party I don't go every month but I do go probably two or three times a quarter so I've seen him quite a bit um, and he's one of the, he's part of the couple that runs the party so he's there like every single time I'm there and I've talked to him on numerous occasions, and at this party, he didn't recognize me. <laughs> he started talking to me, and like within a couple of sentences, it was very obvious that he did not recognize me at all. And then, like, I was kind of giggling to myself, like, how long is it going to take him to realize who I am? Um, we made it through that entire first conversation without him realizing who I was. He was just like really focused on <laughs> on other things like I guess 
the amount of cleavage I was showing. I don't know, but he just didn't recognize me. And then later in the night, he's like, oh my God, I can't breathe. I totally blinked who you were. And I was like, it's okay. And he's like, you've lost a lot of weight. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I have, I guess. Like if I've lost enough weight for somebody who has known me for two years to not recognize me, good, that's grand. Um, but I think he was just being oblivious. He was like really focused on my dress. <laughs> It was a super cute dress in his defense. It was a really cute dress. It was like a 1950s style um, dress and it was pink and it had like a big black bow right over <laughs> my breast and then it had like kind of a low cut and I was, I had forgotten, um, I'd forgotten to bring the proper bra for it. So um, my friend Nicole let me borrow her bra and her bra was just slightly too small so I was super perky like it was just like shoved up into my face because the bra was just slightly too small um so I showed a lot more than I normally do so he did have a little bit of room to be distracted and I guess not look closely at my face for the entire like two minute conversation we had at the start of the party but it was nice it was nice. It was a good time. I had a really fun time. And then Sunday, um, my local gentleman and I came home and we stopped at a really fun little cafe, like a local place. <laughs> I went shopping with my son and bought all of the clothes in the world for the child. It was a kind of... <laughs> I bought a lot of hair ties. I bought so many cute hair ties. I totally embarrassed my boy because we were in the mall and I saw these really cute like clip-in bunny ears <laughs> you clip into your hair and they're they're so cute and furry little bunny ears and he was like don't buy that and I was like why not I want them he was all don't don't buy that because then you'll wear that and I was like I'm buying them I'm wearing them on Easter it's my job as your mother to embarrass you <laughs> so yeah yeah so that was my weekend was sick yesterday still feel under the weather today um, had a really fine time on Saturday. Sunday was pretty low-key shopping with my kid. Awesome. Now you're all caught up on my life. <laughs>